Hello lovelies, it's Sarcasm the Sickness. We're back for... I don't know what fucking episode this is anymore. But we're back playing Omega Ruby. And we're here in Sutopolis. Because it took us like three hours to get here. Um, it is very sunny. It is very fucking hard to see anything around here. I don't even know how I'm managing, honestly. Can I get in? No. Okay, everybody has their doors locked because they don't, they don't want to talk to me. So fuck them. Honestly, you know what? I'm sick of your shit, you rude ass motherfuckers. I'm here to save you. And you're not gonna let me into your home? Fuck you, bitch. You know what? That's okay, because Bay is here. Sarsic! So, you did come. I've been waiting for you. Yeah, no thanks to fucking you, thanks! <laughs> what a terrible heat. It feels as though the entire world will be burnt away. Ah, yes. You need to hear what my friend has to say. No new friends. What? I'm your only friend. Are you kidding me? Look at this smug bastard! Look at this smug-ass motherfucker. My name is Wallace. I'm this town's gym leader. I've also been entrusted with the protection of the Cave of Origin. This drought has been caused by a power emanating from the cage of Cave of Origin. Cage of Origin? Yeah, true. That is the blue orb. I see. Follow me. Wait. Oh, no. He saw me holding the blue orb. That is the blue orb. I see. Follow me. Okay, whatever. <sighs> this sunlight. People in Pokemon need sunlight to live. So why does the sunlight fill us with so much dread? <laughs> the blazing sun over Sutopolis is growing even more intense. Soon all of Hone will be caught, in, caught under its withering glare. If that were to happen... Music's still super legit, right? It is really legit, yeah. yeah. All right, here we are. Weird camera, but okay. Dot dot dot. Team Magma and Team Aqua. We've been waiting, you scamp. Leader Maxi, to that child. I know what must be done. I will entrust this to you now. It is the fruit of our collaboration with the Devon Corporation, and it represents the height of Hoenn's technological knowledge and skill. There you go, thank you, yay, I got the magma suit! That's cool. Alright. We, well, we had actually been preparing that in anticipation of making contact with Groudon, but at this point it doesn't look like there's any hope of that for us. There's nothing we can do except leave it to you. And yet, even with that magma suit, it is probable that anyone could pass, it is, it is probable that anyone could pass through that magma now, fiercer than, is it probable? I can't fucking read, I don't care! That's true. It is very possible that its energy could be far greater than our calculations show. What? What? What are you doing? There is nothing to fear. The blue orb that she bears, its ancient powers will protect both the girl and her Pokemon. You've hit the nail on the head. Those old folks at Mount Pierce did say something about that. That the red, orbs, red orb would unleash Groudon's primal powers and trigger a primal reversion, while the blue orb had the power to reverse that and calm the beast. Alright, cool. Yes, the energy overflowing from the Cave of Origin just now. It's the same energy that, gr that gives Groudon his power. With the blue orb which contains that power to suppress that, it should be possible to calm the rage of this flood of magma. Of course, the blue orb's power alone will not lead you to where Groudon waits. You will not reach Hoenn's core that way. Use the suit that you were just given. With that, it will finally become possible to stand up against the forces of nature. So sassy. Sarsic, to think that you had the blue orb... You will be okay. You and your Pokemon can handle it. Whatever happens, I believe that. I mean, oh shit, you could at least give me a hug before I go. I could die down there. Fuck. No kiss in the cheek, nothing? Fuck you. No man or woman from Sutopolis permitted to enter the Cave of Origin, but you must go together with your blue orb. You must go regardless of what waits you inside that cave. We'll also get our people together up top here to help any folks and Pokemon in trouble. My little scamp of a savior. Looks like we're making you bear all the burden on your little shoulders alone. I'm sorry for that. But I know you're gonna see this through. Child. You. No, I have no right to call you child. Fellow trainer, I have caused great harm, and for that, I apologize most sincerely. But now we find ourselves at an impasse, and you and your Pokemon are all that humanity has to count on to stand against... On, it's to stand against Groudon. Whatever. I can't read. The fate of our world, the world which our, all humanity thrives, the fate of our world rests in your hands. Well, this has all been very touching, but I just want you to know- Oh, fuck. Brendan, 
You are not even- Fuck you, Brendan. Sarsic. When I saw the news about Sutopolis on the Buzznav, and uh, you were there, Sarsic. Anyway, all I could think of was coming to help. You don't know how glad I am to see you're still in one piece. He's like, what the fuck is going on here? What? Is that Team Magma and Team Aqua? Okay, I really don't know what to say right now. I'm kind of dumbfounded. Look, I get that this is probably something way bigger than I've ever imagined, so I won't bother with any questions now. I'm gonna find out what I should do to help, and then I'm gonna do whatever I can. You'd better do the same, Sarsic. I'll always be right there behind you. You're my best friend, after all. Fuck you. You suck, you piece of shit. Get out of my fucking face. This is- Now, as I was saying, when you rudely interrupted me, you piece of shit, this has all been very touching, but I want everybody here to know that you all fucking suck, this is all your fault, and I really should not have to clean up your mess, but whatever, we're gonna do this because I need all the glory because fuck you guys, you guys don't deserve any of it. No new friends, no help, none of this shit. Fuck you all. Look at these fucking torches, it's actually pretty cool. I hate wild Pokemon. I hate Golbats. I, I hate, I hate, I hate you. It's always Golbat. <laughs> it's always Golbat. <laughs> Golbat thinks he's so fucking special! <laughs> anyway. As I was saying, everybody else sucks. I am the only person that's cool. So, you know. Cool. Do with that what you will. Oh, the ground is shaky. I wonder what that could be! It's a Golbat. You silly bastard. You do, are you shaking the ground? Are you being silly right now? No, that's not you. That's right, because you suck! <laughs> I hate Golbats. Oh, there's Mawile in this cave, though. Apparently. But they'll never- it'll only be Golbat, I swear to god. Golbat's trying to be like his fucking little brother Zubat. Oh, the ground is shaky again. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Darn it. Oh no! Shut up! Thank you. Oh no! Can I just go down the stairs, please? Go right on, stop. You're being kind of a dick right now. Stop it! Mm. Stop it, bird! Oh, that was good. I mean, maybe I should just let Pedro just do the, all the commentary, because, I mean, he's cooler than me. What? Whatever. Wow. Shut up! I'm going through some intense shit right now. It's all shaky and shit. Okay, time to walk all slow and intense. Can I go straight down this way? Okay, I can. Okay! Hello. Hey. Okay, I was about to say. Okay, now I put on the suit. Alright, cool. Sarsic changed into the magma suit. I really should have changed into that outside. Like, n not really knowing if it was going to help or not. Or, like, not knowing, like, how intense things are going to be. And now I've fitted it with the blue orbs. So that's cool. And everything is still shaky. Okay. <laughs> Hug time! <laughs> <clears throat> you can hear a, mo a voice from within the magma suit. Do you read me? It is I, the great Maxi. Really? You're really gonna pull that now? You're obviously not as great as you thought you were. A device built into that suit has you have donned allows me to talk to you. We have received the readings from your suit. It suggests that Groudon has appeared. Is my suspicion correct? Does it stand before you now? You must listen. Do not waste even a single second. Leap onto Groudon's mighty back. Then let take you to the best of the Okay. Thanks. The sound cut out. No way. But I guess I'm gonna leap onto its back and we're not gonna show any animation of that because, you know, whatever. That's fine though. Alright. I'm a ninja. It doesn't even know that I'm here. This is actually- this is like- I don't know, this is weird. I feel like Groudon should have been bigger. Look how t like, I'm a ten-year-old girl, and I'm riding it like a pony. <laughs> Honestly now, what the fuck? Alright, I guess we're just gonna stride peacefully down here. We're just- he's just chilling, man. Alright. Now my bottom screen's all fuzzy, so that's a thing, I guess. Um... Alright. 
I like the intense sound effects on it. It's not even like music really, it's just intense. Alright, so somehow he's over there now and I'm over here, so I mean, you know, whatever. But I- and I took the magma suit off? Wouldn't I want to have it on more now? It's even crazier under here, what the fuck? Okay, um... Do I just? I guess I just. Alright, let's see what's- let's see what's going on on my team here. Oh, you're dead. Do you hear that? There's just fucking nothing. I went into my party and there's just no sound. That is so fucking weird. So this really is just all sound effects and weirdness. This is actually really intense. I'm actually kind of tripping out right now. Alright. No hugs? Please hugs? No? Alright. So, what's up? What's up, big guy? You look a lot bigger now. I look a lot bigger now, too, though, so there's that. Alright. Alright. Alright, alright. Okay. Alright, they actually did make this look pretty fucking legit. Alright. Okay. Alright. Rawr. Now, now it's primal hugs, dude. That actually is pretty fucking cool, though. I do like the fact that it looks like lava is just coursing through its body. It's so cool. And it, it, does, it does look like it's gotten even bigger now. Alright, here goes the battle. Groudon appeared! No fucking way! I can't believe it! Okay. Um, so obviously I can't use any water attacks. So I- I'm going to have to- I'll try to- I'll try to rock slide it, I guess? See what that does? I'm just- I do want to catch it, I don't want to kill it, okay? I am concerned about killing it. But, um... I mean, Groudon is part ground, so it shouldn't, like... No, it is- it's totally ground, that's right, it's not even fire type, is it? So, um... Ah, oh, you douchebag. Really? Fuck you. Okay. Um... I can't- I can't muddy water it, so I guess I'm just gonna... Mud bomb? Try from there. I actually did a decent amount, considering. That's gonna lava plume me again, it's gonna kill me. Alright, Riley. Oh, Riley! Yeah, good. Oh wait, now that's gonna kill me. Well, I mean... <laughs> Riley, I'm sorry, you tried your best, baby. I'm sorry I did that to you. Yes, use the next Pokemon, Jesus. Um... We'll go into... Henry, I guess. Um, cause it should do... It should be fine to go for an Aerial Ace? Okay, that's a fucking nothing, Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, okay, it's ground attacks don't do shit to me, so that's a good thing. Um, let's go with the fly. See how that goes. It really shouldn't do too much more- ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! THAT'S BULLSHIT. YOU KNOW THAT'S BULLSHIT. THAT IS BULLSHIT. ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! YOU KNOW I HAVE- I HAVE- 900 Master Balls! I don't even need to fight you, you piece of shit. I really don't even need to fight you. But I'm going to, out of respect for you. Out of respect for you, you piece of shit. And you're gonna just diss me like that? Fuck you. Who the fuck do you think you are? God damn it. It looks so weird though when its eyes are closed, because it just doesn't look like it has eyes at all. It's really weird. Alright. Ugh. Oh, it fucking woke up and it went back to sleep. You are an asshole. It's just... What did you fucking heal? Like 20 HP? Fuck you. Who the fuck do you think you are? I, now I have to power punch you because I can't even... I know that a regular slash is not going to do enough. Oh my god, that did nothing. Alright, let's go we got it. Let's go at it again. Let's go again. Let's, let's give it one more go again. Oh my god. This is so... Okay, 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 okay. Slash. Ah, oh, I used EQ. Fuck. Please don't die. It died. God damn it. Okay. So, this is not good. At all. Alright. Um... 
I'm gonna put out Trevor just for death fodder. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um. Um. I should be able to revive. Max revive. I do have two max revives. That's actually pretty cool. All right. Let's heal up Riley. <sighs> Precipice whatever thing. Oh my god, that actually looks really cool. But that was way overkill for a level 13 Meryl. You were just a douchebag. That was just rude, honestly. That was just rude. That wasn't even necessary. Let's go into a meal and see what I can do with this. Although it is gonna just like precipice thingy or EQ and destroy her. But hopefully she's fast enough to get... Ah, shit. It's a ground type. I can't even nuzzle it and try to paralyze it. I have nothing for this thing. Um... Icicle crash. Let's try icicle crash. Fuck it, use res. You're not even that hurt. You're really not. It was like 12 HP. God damn it. You suck so fucking bad. Why do you suck so bad? Honestly. Icicle crash is fucking nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How many- how much PP does rest have? I don't even know. Oh, please stay asleep. Honestly, I'm about to just start throwing Pokeballs at it right now, because it's asleep. <sighs> oh my god, this is doing nothing. Okay. Alright. Let's see what I can do. I have... Let's go with the Dusk Ball. I don't know, man. Please stay. You're not gonna stay, but please do. Just because I love you. Please? Friends? Oh my, what the fuck? I mean... Well, that's fine. I don't see a reason to be upset. That's fine. That's, you know, it's just... It's not even like it's fucking dark down here or anything! It's not even dark! Fuck Endeavor, no. Yes, give up on that. Ugh. I don't even know, guys. I don't even know right now. I'm- I'm just... I'm just- that's not Electrode. Um... No. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I started to change it. Oh. Wow. Did you use- Start to ch <laughs> Groudon! It's said to be the personification of land itself. Legends tell of its many clashes against Kyogre, as each sought to gain the power of nature. You know, that may be the only thing I miss, is that, um, there wasn't an epic battle between Groudon and Kyogre like there was, um, in the original Gen 3 games. That was really fucking cool, and then seeing Or... There was- or was it- it wasn't just Emerald, right? It was both of them, right? Or all three of them, I mean. I don't know. Whatever. We're here. Yes, we have Groudon. What am I going to call you, you genderless beast? Um... I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. What do I call something like this? Douchebag? Asshole? I don't know. I might call it Pedro. I'm not gonna call it Pedro. <laughs> what should I call it? Like Groudon? Yes, what should I call Groudon? <laughs> Useless. Okay, um... Sleepy. Sleepy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jerk. Oh, <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Now I'm calling it Pedro, I don't even care. P D Ro <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, you suck anyway. I'm okay. You got caught in a fucking dusk ball at like not even 25% damage. That's Fuck you. Me. <laughs> <laughs> no grass Pokemon. I'm the furthest thing away from a fire ground Pokemon. Alright, so there's some intense- what the fuck is that even? What is that? Is the sun going away now, please? Oh. I'm a fire monizer! That made sense. It made a lot of sense. I understand now.
Happy victory music, yay. Hey, look, it's Joe. Oh, Joe's not gonna talk to me? Fuck you, Joe. I hope you're watching this, Joe! <laughs> okay. What is this? Who is that? Oh, it's little Wally! I love how it's suddenly nighttime. It's not nighttime in my game, and when I go back to the main thing, it's gonna be daytime again. But, you know. Or is it? I love how the Team Magma members don't have an animation to make them look like they're looking up. Their necks are just that stiff, they can't look up. That's ridiculous. Oh, wait, no, oh, what? They do, but the other ones just wouldn't for whatever reason. That's so weird. It doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. So everybody's looking towards the sky, like, oh my lord, what the fuck? Oh, and there's a creepy bitch, Courtney. She's like, okay, whatever. Fuck you guys. Who the fuck is that? I don't give a shit about that bitch. Hello? Alright. Here's the it should not be nighttime place now. Hey guys. Sarsic! So it's all over. Sarsic, we owe you great thanks. Oh, I thought he was gonna hug me. Gee fuck. You fucking douchebag. Look above you. The sky of Versutopolis is returned to normal. Except that it's nighttime in the middle of the day. Wait, was it nighttime when I I keep forgetting, is it? Was it nighttime in your thing? Is it nighttime in your fucking whatever? Mm -hmm. Somehow, mm -hmm. it's so warm. Is the energy that has been amassed deep within the cave of origin now flowing out over, flo flowing out to pour over the greater world? It's as if the uncertainty and fear from moments ago never even existed. My heart feels like it's been softly set at ease. The sea or the land, Pokemon or humanity, all this time we've just been trying to grab onto happiness for one of them, even if it meant destroying the other. Look at how things have turned out. Now the, world got, now the world's got its natural balance back. We've got to rethink this thing from the very start. We've got to redo everything else we've done from scratch and get it right this time. What do you say, Maxie? I suppose you may be right. However, personally in my case, some wrongs cannot be atoned for, no matter how you might try to right them. As, and I have committed wrongs so great as to bring this world to its knees. It may be that I... It may be too much to assume that I should deserve the chance to start anything over. Leader, without a doubt you have committed an offense that can never be forgiven. You have wronged not only Team Magma, but all things on this planet, whether great or small. However, that is precisely why you must now set things right. You must continue to atone for the sins you've committed, even at the risk of your own life. To set the right the wrongs you've done without running away in fear, isn't that how an adult accepts responsibility? Should you find the resolve to do so inside yourself, then I, Team Magma Admin Tabitha, will serve at your side as counsel forever. T Tabitha. Thank you. Nice and touching moment between them, I guess. I don't even know. You know, someday we adults are gonna have to- or gonna have to hand this world off to this little scamp and the rest of her generation. But what kind of world are we- are we adults gonna make? What kind of world do we want to pass to these kids? If we haven't even figured that out ourselves, we're never gonna get anywhere. So, are we gonna make a world where everyone can coexist together? Or, after all, is it gonna be a world where we claim by- that we claim by force? One that we fight and scrabble over? I don't know, but if- but I think we can at least start by giving it some time and thinking it over. All of all of us can do that, whether we're Team Aqua or Team Magma or whatever. Maxi! You were able to use that blue orb to great effect, so I imagine you will also be able to handle this. Have Groudon hold it, and you should be able to control its primal reversion for at least a short period, such as during a battle. And I got the red orb. Oh, that was a really weird get item sound. And that's it for me. Later, scamp. Farewell. Bye, guys. There goes my OTP. <laughs> I shall miss you. Team Magma and Team Aqua are made up of people that completely oppose- with completely opposing ideals and goals, but perhaps even they can learn to meet halfway, on one, s one small concession at a time. <laughs> I know it's too much to expect that everything will change at once, but I hope this crisis might at least help them take that vital f or first vital step forward. 
I imagine that many changes are happening now across- now all across Hoenn. I hope that you will be able to travel this world and see its richness with your own eyes, and reveal- and, re and revel in its newness in your own heart. But for that present, you must first wish to challenge the Sims Pokemon Gym. City's Pokemon Gym, I can't words. There, you will find this very same Wallace who helped us so much- I'm wait, waiting for you, okay. He's strong. But the way you are now, you should be able to- you should be capable of battling him on an equal footing. When you travel the world, you should at least try to use this. This flute is one of my favorite items. I got the Eon Flute! Yes. This Eon Fruit- Fruit. This Eon Fruit is proof- This Eon Flute is proof that the, of the bond between you and your Latios. No matter how far you may be from one another, play that flute and Latios will, sure, uh, will surely fly straight to you. Then it can take you to the sky, soaring above the land with, with you astride its back. Yes, just like when we first encountered Latios and Latios in the Southern Island. That's a tree. People. Pokemon. Nature itself. Our survival in this world depends on all of us living together in harmony. I feel I have just begun to understand that. And I'm wondering how, in the, or how the world will continue to change from this point on. It fills me with inexplicable excitement. Sarsic. As you and your Pokemon live and grow in this changed world, I wonder what effect it will have on you. What will you think about? What ideals do you, will you believe in? If we do get the chance to meet again, I hope you'll be able to show me and my, and my team the answers you found. Until then. I love how he's saying that like I don't know that he's the champion. Phew. Feels like we can finally relax, huh? I guess that's- n I guess that's now- I guess that now's the time to say thanks for all you've done, Sarsic. And I have a huge crush on you. No. <laughs> you know, we set out from little foot- Little foot. I can't read. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry now. There's, there's way too much dialogue in these last three episodes. Honestly, that's just not fucking fair. Of course I tried to record all of these like back to back to back, so that's great. You know, we set out from Little Root at the same time, but it seems like you're just dashing ahead by yourself and leaving me behind. I feel like we're not even on the same level anymore, you know? It's kind of lonely thinking like that. Or it would be if I really thought like that. But, well, you did something pretty amazing, so take it easy for a while, okay, buddy? Later. I love how he's like, I feel so lonely. But I'm not a scrub, I don't think like that. It's, it's just fine, I'm fine. You don't need to worry about me. Fuck you. Bye. And just like leaves. And whatever. Fuck you, dude. Alright, so we have saved the world. Oh, fuck. Look at this big ass tree thing. This is cool. Hello, old dude. What is up with this tree? Tell me about this tree. You're like this. Oh, you there, young, and you're the one who saved Sutopolis. No, you're the one who saved all of Hoenn, of all things. I really, I really must thank you most sincerely. I swear I will live. I will, well, I will live what time I have left in this life to the fullest thanks to you. Aw, look at the cute little, little guy. He's just dancing over there. He's so happy. Oh, shit. Sable Knight. Sa Sable Knight? Is that really how it's pronounced? Sable Knight? Well, okay, so I found Sable, Sable Knight, so that's cool, now I can Mega Evolve Sable Eye. Not that I couldn't before because I have all the Mega Stones, but you know. You know, you know, you know. It just makes me feel better to have it. Hello, person. Oh, oh, I don't have any- well, you don't have anything to say. I know. Sutopolis is saved. All thanks to you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. What's in here? I'm probably gonna take on the gym in the next episode because I really don't fucking feel like it right now. Hey, Coolywiz! Fufa! I don't even know. For 30 years, I've remained in Sutopolis, honing my skills, and developed a shattering TM! I bequeath it to you! Oh, I got the break, 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 yep, true. Uh huh. Fuck everything. I can't. Words. I don't even want to read the rest of what he says because I can't even read the name of the TM. It's Brick Break. Ah. <sighs> whatever, man. Whatever, man. Whatever. Let's get in here. <sighs> Hello, child person. Hello, child person. Dedicated fans flock in even from far away as Cantil and Joe. As Cantil and Joe. Ah. Something about Wallace. I don't care. So you're a Pokemon trainer, right? Sutopolis' so gym leader, Wallace, has a lot of fans. Do you have any fans? Actually, yes, I do. Oh, then you must be pretty strong. Nah, I'm just... I don't know, I just do YouTube, man. So I guess that's a thing. Hello, child! The sky is full of energy, so I'm full of energy, too! Cool. Oh, you're at the other chair. Hello. My big brother used to study the sea. So is this your big brother? 
There appears to be some connection between Zootopolis and Mount Pier. My friends and I did some research on it at the lab where I used to work. Cool, you're not gonna share that information with me? That's fine. We'll just, um... I'll just be moving on then. Fuck you, bitch! Oh, I can't. Okay, I'm stuck over here. Ah, oh, haha, <laughs> I gotta go all the way around. God damn it. Okay, um... Are there any other places I should visit before ending this episode? I don't know, I can't tell. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay. Is there something over here? There is something over here. Hello, is this the house that wouldn't let me in the first time? Or maybe this is the other house, I don't even know. Hello, lady. This narrow cave is all that links Zootopolis to the outside world. It's almost as though this place was made to keep something from getting out. Or am I just imagining things? Yeah, don't worry, you're just crazy. This crater was created when the huge meteorite crashed into the earth here. Over time, the crater filled with rainwater, and that's how the city of Zootopolis came to be. That's cool. Thank you for alerting me to that. That actually is pretty cool. Okay. That's, it's, I like that. I like this- Oh, look at this building. It's got like all these grassy things growing on it. That's actually really cute. I like that. This is actually- They actually made Zootopolis really beautiful. Hello, person. Pee pee up. Okay. Hello, person. Four store. Thanks. Hello. <laughs> you made that guy super turn. <laughs> um, who's the cutest idol in the world? It's me. What? Are you mad? What a hopeless fool. Fuck you, nigga! What the fuck do you think you are? He just told me I'm not cute. He just told me I'm not cute. He just before. fucking told me that I'm stupid and I'm not cute. Yeah. <laughs> fuck everything and everything you stand for. What are you How- What? How dare you sound so unsure? Wow. Fuck you. What? But he gave me- Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Doubt yourself and you get a TM. I hate everything about you. I hate everything about this game. This game basically forced me to say that I'm not as cute as this fucking pile of pixels. Fuck you. Fuck this game. Yes, I'm gonna buy a shit ton of shit right now. Oh, I have 23 in my bag. That's fine. Whatever. I don't even care. I don't even care. Let's go. Fuck. Okay. Anyway, on that horrible note, we're gonna end off this episode and we're gonna get ready to go to the gym leader, which means that I'm probably going to do some training in between this episode and the next because I'm definitely- I, my voice is just shot right now. I just need a break. I need food. I still need food. Uh, I don't know why I'm burping. It's gross. I'm sorry. I've done that like every single episode now and that's really horrible. I'm sorry I'm gross. But hey, I'm still cute! Fuck that guy! Um, and um... I'm just gonna- we're just gonna stand here in, in this tree thing. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you later. Bye.